tell you, people have been, pre been predicting that we would have a correction. People were saying that in October of 2017. And then guess what? The market started up with a bang in 2018 and continued to make new highs almost every day we were doing it. So it, what we could have done, what people would have liked to have seen happen is a nice slow pullback of a series into support with some red days. Instead, the market didn't do it. We had two big down days now, Friday and Saturday. And I'm saying, I mean, Friday and Monday. Right. And that could, this could be it. The buying opportunity could set up very quickly after this. Now, whether or not people will, you know, take advantage of it that are retail people or not, I don't know. But I definitely think institutions will when it happens. So I think today's selling and Friday's selling is a combination of institutional selling and retail selling. But again, I don't see huge panic because I look at gaps and that's what I look at as a trader person. And I'm telling you, the market did gap down Friday and it did gap down Monday, but not in some massive way. For the market to do a gap down where I would say, wow, this is panicky. It would have to happen in the gap itself overnight, not on a selling day. So it, like, for example, if we open tomorrow morning and I'm just throwing a number out there, like at 250 in the spiders, I'd say, whoop, that would be panic all over the place if we would open there. A, a down open, it's just a small down open and even a sell off day does not strike me as panicky because institutions do look at stuff overnight. They right. do take positions, post-market and pre-market, a lot of institutions do that. And that's how gaps are created. And although we gap down, like I said, Friday and Monday, they weren't big gap downs or anything that I would say that for the panic. So you had a lot of retail people in here selling off in the day. And of course, everyone's covering it. Everyone's talking about it because you were right. We did lose the gains that we had since the beginning of 2018, but it's only February 5th. You know, I mean, it's right, so it's, right. it's, you know, we're, it's only, you know, a month into the year and no one said we had to go up every day in January. We did. It was great while it lasted. If people took profits, they had those gains. But this, again, is setting up where smart people, when the time is right, which is not today, will get back into this market because I still see more records being set for the market in 2018. Uh, and it's just a fact that the, the tax reform is going to end up enhancing some of these companies' earnings. It didn't happen for first quarter, but it was really last quarter that you saw when the reports came out, you know, this quarter. Right.